Hey yeah, this is Retroburn and today we have another Steam Summer Sale 2019 How to Level Up Fast for Free on Steam. In this video I'm going to show you more tips on how to level up your Steam profile account using this event for free. So if you're new to this, before anything else, might see my first video for an overview of what the Steam Summer Sale 2019 Grand Prix event is all about. So this is the first video and then if you want an in-depth dive into its mechanics, see my second video. So this is the second video. So this is my first... Oh no, what happened to Firefox here? There you go. So this is my first video and this is my second one. So the first is an overview on how the event works and the second one is an in-depth guide on how the mechanics work because I've noticed that in the first vid, a lot of you are still confused about uh, this event. So I made the second video. In this third one, I'm going to give you tips on what I've learned. So without further ado, these are the tips. Number one, this might be a long shot, but do check if your collection has remasters that share the same achievements you've unlocked while playing the old version. Borderlands is one of these. Number two. Oh wait, I'm going to, sh to show you how I did that. In Borderlands, actually, oh, where is that? There are actually two border. If you've bought the Borderlands Game of the Year several years back, they've offered a B Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. So take note, guys, that these are two different games. These are two different games. Borderlands Game of the Year and Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced. So it's not a patch. It's two different games. But here's the thing. If you've finished this and you've unlocked a whole lot of achievements, when you first start this one, when you first play this one, all the achievements you've unlocked in the first one will also unlock in the second. So if, you, if you've played Ga Borderlands Game of the Year several years back, now is the time to install this. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I did try with Darksiders though, but the Definitive Edition and the War Mastered Edition do not have that perk. So when I started these, even though I've unlocked a lot of achievements in the, in the very first Darksiders, they didn't unlock in my in, in, in these 4K edition, these remasters. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But anyway, yeah, if you have remasters in your collection, do sift around the Steam forums, ask around if the achievements are linked, if you've unlocked them in the first play, in, 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 I mean in the first game, and then they unlock in the, the remaster, do, do give it a shot. Maybe, just maybe, that will give you a ton of achievements just like what I've got in the Borderlands game of the year, enhanced. So number two is check your collection if you have games that have a crazy amount of achievements that are easy to unlock. As shown in my second video, I leverage Torchlight 1 for this. So if you've seen my second video, this one, uh, you've seen me unlock uh, the Modpocalypse achievement where I unlocked that achievement just by installing 10 mods. It was just a simple copy paste. I just copy pasted the mod files into the mod mod folder in Torchlight that I've showed you guys that one in my second video. So yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind too. There's a crazy amount of achievements in some games. So in light of number two, it brings us to number three, where this user, Joshua L. Thanks, man. If you don't have these in your collection, come through Steam's li library for similar games. For example, the Zup series, which is recommended by Joshua L. Type it right here. Uh, don't mind that. Joshua L. has recommended the Zup series. So I bought this one. Where is that? You can see that this game has a crazy amount of achievements just by unlocking all these levels. Now... He did suggest Zup9, but being a completionist, I bought the very first one because number one, I'm a completionist. And number two, and the reason you'd be interested in is that I figured that in the first game, since the this is a puzzle series in the first game, I figured that the puzzles would be simpler in the first game. And so that would be easier to unlock. I did give this a try and even... And even when I just launched the game, I didn't actually play it. I unlocked all these. Like, that's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just by starting the game. So you can see here that it, it was unlocked in July 3. So you know I'm not, you know, kidding. I'm being very serious about this. I unlocked 10, 10 achievements just by starting the game. And so what that did is 
here. I'll show you guys. Give me 660 boost points out of my max points. So I haven't maxed this because I'm just 19,000. So this is my boost points. If I use this to buy a boost, there you go. That goes down to zero. But when I go to the pit stop, that gave me 680 tokens. So here, let me show you. I need 529 to level up to level 88. So let's knock that down by several points. So 680, we'll buy this one. There you go. And then let's buy this 100 token, uh, level one, level up thing of magic. There you go. So yeah, yeah. This game is a boon right here. So just remember the, the, these three tips, guys. It might be a long shot, but if your collection has remasters, the share the same achievements you've unlocked while playing the old versions, uh, do try them. Do sift around. Ask around first, especially if you have slow internet connection. Do ask around first because it might you might end up wasting your time if you install the game and find out that the achievements do not do not carry over to the remaster. So just please ask around first before trying this. But definitely yes, if you have played Borderlands the first one years ago and you haven't tried the enhanced edition, now might be the right time to do so. Also check your games if you have that crazy amount of achievements that are easy to unlock. So yep, which brings us to Zup. So yep guys, try Zup. Thank you Joshua L for this suggestion. So yep, we owe this video to him. So if you like this video guys, please like this video, share, subscribe. This has been Retroburn. Stay cool, stay frosty. But before we end this, we are going to try out Zup and then see what we can get. If I mean, this is a puzzle game. I'm not too good with puzzles. But let's see if we can, what do you call this? Beat the very first level and see what that unlocks for us. And then we're going to play this baby. Take note, guys, that this is my first time doing so. So I don't have any idea how to play this game. Oh, there you go. Even if you click on the tutorial. Oh, so this is not good. This is not good if you... Okay, so this is correct. I don't get it. What's 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 this rotation thing of magic? And then that's the door to the next level, I think. Judging from what little I've seen of this game. What is this? Uh, could we go back? This is exit, right? I think so. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Gonna go back. Gonna go back. And then what do we do with this? R. Achievement unlocked again just by pressing R. I, I got another achievement. This is crazy. Okay, so how do I play this game? It just says R and rotate. Uh, okay, I'm a little lost in the videos I've seen. Oh, oh, oh that startled me. Alright, so... I don't know if Shadowplay is recording this, but I just got three more achievements. A fourth. I, I got four more achievements. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Jesus Christ, that startled me. The explosion startled me. Okay, so how do I do this? Holy camoly. You got another one. Two more. <laughs> So we're just gonna click the red squares. Oh man, that's a total failure. Oh, this is going to be more difficult than I thought it would be. There you go. But, okay. There you go. <laughs> Another achievement. This is crazy. Anyway, so yeah, you get the point. This game has a crazy amount of achievements that are very easy to unlock. So I'm going to end the video here. So yeah, like, subscribe, stay cool, stay frosty. So wait, wait, wait. We are going to see how many points have we unlocked just by playing that game for just several minutes. It's crazy, dude.
743. Ooh. <laughs> so we're going to make a pit stop because, yep, I think this will consume all that. Yep, there you go. And then this is going to bring us to level 89, I think, if I'm not mistaken. My math is right. Is my math right? Oh no. <laughs> 29 points. Okay, so yeah, but it did bring us a little closer to level 89. So, yep, I'll end the video here. Stay cool, guys. Stay frosty.